today, we'll quickly go through a clean install of Windows 11 22H2. It will be as condensed as possible. We'll need at least an 8GB USB stick and the Rufus Portable app. Links will be in the video description. When the Rufus app is used for the first time, make sure you select Yes to allow checking for app updates. You'll see a new window pop up. Under Device, make sure the correct USB stick is selected. The boot selection should be left as the default disk or ISO image. To the right, you can choose to select an existing ISO image or download. For most, choose download. Make sure the version is set to Windows 11 and hit continue. For release, choose the most recent 22H2 version. In this case, it's version 1. Hit continue. Under edition, select Windows 11 Home Pro EDU and hit continue. Select the language you want to use and click continue. Next, the architecture should default to x64. Click download. Rufus will download the ISO image. This can take several minutes. After the download completes, everything should be pre-populated. When you hit start, you'll see a window listing options to customize the Windows 11 installation. The defaults are to remove the requirements of RAM, Secure Boot, TPM 2.0, and the online Microsoft account. Leave the remove requirement for an online Microsoft account checked. It's important if you have a network card such as the new Intel i226 or wireless AX211 card. As of this video, the drivers are too recent and are not included with Windows 11 22H2. Under normal conditions, setup will not complete due to Microsoft enforcing network connectivity for Microsoft accounts. All other settings are optional. Hit OK. A warning will be presented that the USB stick will be formatted and existing data will be lost. If you need to keep existing documents from the USB stick, move it to a cloud or ex other external storage. Hit OK when you are ready to move forward. This will take several minutes. You can close Rufus. Before proceeding any further, back up all your documentation or essential files on the drive or partition to an external storage or cloud. You should have a copy of the latest drivers saved on the USB stick. The most important drivers to have available are your network card or wireless card, and if you have a RAID. If you have a RAID, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure you have these drivers ready during the install or post install. When you're ready, reboot the PC. Press the UEFI BIOS shortcut to boot to the USB stick. If you don't know what the UEFI BIOS boot shortcut key is, consult your motherboard's manual or website. In the Windows 11 setup, choose your language and select no product key if you previously activated your PC online. Volume license key users will need to enter their product key. Choose the Windows 11 edition you had previously installed. For most, it's Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro. If you have a RAID, you will need to install the drivers in the order outlined by the manufacturer. Select the disk partition you want to format. Format the partition then hit next to begin the install. After a few minutes, the first part of the install will complete. Your PC will reboot a few times. When setup is on the next step, select your region and keyboard layout. If your PC's network is down like mine, choose I don't have internet. For everyone else, you can choose to skip creating a Microsoft account. When prompted, choose Continue with Limited Setup. Enter your name, password, and put three answers to the security questions. Finally, select your privacy settings, and you're almost done. If you're offline and you only have the latest network or wireless card drivers, you can install these and restore network connectivity. However, if you downloaded all the drivers, install the network or wireless drivers last. This way, Windows Update won't install older drivers. After this, you can install all your apps or games. In the event you have an NVIDIA GPU and you're looking to install only the essentials, you can check out NVCleanStall. The link is in the description. One last thing, if you find Windows 11 22H2 less responsive compared to Windows 11 21H2, you can check the recent video on the Windows power plans. It might address this issue. Windows 11 22H2 installation is now complete. That's it for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you do, turn on notifications. 
You can also support the channel by giving us super thanks. Follow me on social media at Dave Finito. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time.